Hello friends, today we will solve the minimize malware spirit two question. In a network of nodes, each node i is directly connected to another node j if and only if graph i j equal to 1. Some nodes initial are initially infected by malware. Wherever two nodes are directly connected and at least one of those two nodes is infected by malware, both nodes will be infected by malware. Uh, we will remove one node from the initial list, completely removing it and ending connections from this node to any other node. So this is the difference between the previous question and the current question. Let's see an example. If uh, 1, 2, 3 uh, are 3 nodes and the, and the 1, 2 are infected, in the previous question, uh, even if we remove the node 1 or the node 2, we cannot save this node 3 because they are connected. These three nodes are connected. They are in the same connected components. Uh, so if there is at least one node is infected, the whole connected components will be infected. But in this question, like if we remove the node 1, then the node 2 will infect this 3. But if we remove node 3, then the connected components will be separated to node 1 and 3. So even if 1 is infected, we can save the 3. So I think this question can be solved by DFS. We want to, for every infected node, we try to find uh, how many nodes we can save by DFS? Uh, one constraint is that uh, the node connected to the infected node cannot be directly connected to other uh, infected node. Like uh, if this two is uh, like it, it is not infected, but one and three are infected. So even if we remove one, we cannot save these two. So we want to find uh, as larger uh, kinetic components as possible. Okay, let's solve it. First, we get n will be the graph dot length, and uh, the same as the previous question, we always want to return the smallest index. So we will sort this initial, and then we will use a set because. Uh, uh, we will then add other nodes into this malware. Like if the if these two cannot be saved, we will add them to the mail. So first we will add the initial uh, to the mail. Malware, in fact malware as I okay. And the number means the size of the kinetic components. Uh, which means the, the nodes we can save at least at the first uh, we initialize to negative one. The result will be negative one. So for every initial, we'll see how many nodes we can save. So the save at the first will be zero. And uh, we need a uh, VT the hash set to mark uh, uh, the nodes we have VT before. We will add uh, the current. Uh, I into the VT. Okay, then we will iterate this uh, graph plus plus. If the I not equal to J and uh, they are directly connected equal to one, we will get the temporary equal to a DFS. Uh, we will mark them if the temporary less than zero, which means the uh, these kinetic components are invalid. Even if we remove the i, we cannot save them. So they are invalid. We just continue. If not the case, we will sum up the nodes we can save to this save. So this save means the total number of nodes we can save. So if this save greater than number, we update the number to the save and the result equal to the current in, uh, infected node, which is i. So finally, we just return this result. 
Now let's implement this DFS function. The first uh, parameter will be the node. Then we will pass the malware. Then we will pass the. Uh, then we will pass the. Um, uh, the uh, visited. Okay, let's continue. Uh, this visited, and uh, we also need to pass the graph to it. So the basic case, if the visited, if we want to add the current node into the visited, it's return false, which means we have visited before, so we just return zero. And uh, if the mail contains this node, we will return negative one because this means these whole nodes are invalid. We cannot uh, uh, save the nodes in this uh, DFS uh, part. Then we will use a temp uh, save total save, and at least we can save one because you see the I is infected, but this J is not infected. So if we can go here, which means we at least can save the node J, right? So then we will iterate the graph j plus plus. So if node not equal to j and the graph node j equal to one, uh, we will get a temporary will be dfs. There will be the j and the mail and the vt and the graph. So if the temporary less than zero. Which means it has one node, or at least one node that are infected. We will add the current node into the uh, malware because we cannot save the. And we return negative one. In another case, we will add this temporary into the save. So finally, we just return this save. Let's fail this uh, function. That will be the J mail. Uh, malware fitted and the graph okay thank you for watching see you next time